Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. This short video is on unique rectangles and as you can see here, it's just another name for quad pairs. Now my previous video was on quad pairs, so all I'm going to do here is just Include that in this video. All right. Talk to you again soon. Slán tamo. This little video now, we're going to be looking at a very interesting technique. It's known as the quad pairs. Now, I've only come across myself in one Sudoku that I was doing, and I have a feeling this is the one that I was actually trying to do. And it stumped me for quite some time. Now, this uh, example I'm taking straight from Duncan's website, and there is a link to it in the description below. So let's have a look at the four cells, which are H2, J2, and H9, J9. So something akin to an X-wing and things like that. But you can see we have three doubles in three of the squares. And the fourth one has got a four, seven, eight. So H2 has four, seven, eight. Now let us consider if there was no seven in H2, in which case we'd have four eight in each one of the four cells and that is our quad pair now what effect does that have on the puzzle as a whole and where we go to from here okay let's take any one of these cells at random it doesn't matter which one you take and put a four we'd say into that cell so i'm going to take h9 i'm going to put a four in there and by doing that it means there's going to be a, an 8 in H2, there's going to be a 4 in J2, and there's going to be an 8 in J9. Now that means that in this house here, there is a 4 and an 8. In this house, there's a 4 and an 8, so we can get rid of that 4. In this column, there's a 4 and an 8, so we can get rid of any 4s fours and eights along that column and also we can get rid of any fours and eights if they were there up on that column now that's what happens when we put a four into h9 okay just see what everything there has been got rid of now let's put an eight into h9 well an eight there means this is a four so it has the same effect on that column and it has the same effect on this house because we have a four and an eight the 4 here means we now have an 8 here, and that will cause a 4 here. So for this column, we still have a 4 and 8 pointing up at it. And in this house, we have a 4 and an 8. So we're still going to get rid of exactly the same possibles as before. And that's a little bit of a problem, because we're saying that if we put 4 into a cell, we get a certain outcome. And if we put an 8 into the cell, we get exactly the same outcome. This means that this Sudoku puzzle will have two different outcomes. And for it to be a genuine puzzle, it can only have one outcome. And the only way we can stop this from happening is we make this a seven. So that stops this uh, split, we'll say, from happening. That's it. Quad doubles, they're impossible. So if you've got any way of stopping it, that is your solution. All right, that's it from me now. And I'll see you again fairly soon with another uh, example. Okay, till then, slant hammer.